Now we're going down to my favorite part of the art studios. So here is our ceramics and sculpture studio. This also is a little messy because students have been busy in here. Now, we do sculpture and ceramics. I want to show you our kiln room. We have three kilns, two electrics, one manual, and one computer panel so that we can let it fire all on, us, on its own. These are the electrics. And then we have this really lovely gas-fired alpine kiln. We are equipped with an extruder, a clay mixer, and a spray booth for glazes. In Ceramics One, one of the projects we do is students go out to the equine facility right next to the paddock pond, and they dig clay up, they refine it, and then they make an object. This is one of the objects made from clay that's been excavated from the equine pond. Sometimes we even go into the art museum to see the history of ceramics. Actually, every single one of my classes gets to go to the Cleveland Museum of Art because we're very close and it's one of the best museums in this country. So, this is our sculpture area. We like to keep them sort of a little bit separated because a lot of times in the sculptural process, plaster is used. and Plaster is used in ceramics, but it's not good if plaster gets mixed in with clay. So one of the best features of our sculpture studio is we have a plastic pit. All these boards come out. So what we do every time I teach sculpture is we do a bronze casting. And uh, I have a friend who works in a studio foundry, and he has devised a way to um, do portable bronze melting. What he does is he takes a really large weed burner, one like this, this is about 200,000 BTUs that'll come out of here, propane fueled. And he'll have a crucible. He will heat the crucible up. Students can see the bronze melting. And the molds that the students have made are placed in the pit. And then the students get to help pour the molten metal into the molds. Uh, the whole process, we go from very beginning to the very end, all the way up to patina. So this is one of the areas where the sciences really play a large role in the making of art. We have to talk about physics and fluid dynamics and what temperatures certain metals melt at. We also use chemicals to apply to the heated bronze for color and shine or not shine. Uh, this coming semester, we're going to do rock carving with the Curator of Mineralogy at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. Um, you'll see lots of objects laying around on the table. These are, some of them are mine from my own art practice. Some of them is our student work. Uh, right here, we have the Raku kiln, which we use for ceramics. We also do a Raku firing. Um, and it's kind of fun because we roast weenies and marshmallows during the firing. So we are fully equipped to do everything ceramic and sculptural in this studio, even welding. You can see we have the welding curtain over here. In fact, the maintenance people complain that I have better equipment than they do. These are little crucibles that the students in ceramics too make. They put chemicals in these little crucibles and fire them at our stoneware temperature to see what these chemicals will do in the heat. Students find out about eutectics and other chemical physics related um, issues while they're doing this. Here on this board are all the instructions on how to make a mold 
for your bronze casting object. So I teach art history as well here. So the great part about that is I do know a lot of art processes. A lot of art historians don't have an idea of what the processes are. So I can explain those, I can show them, and if I'm teaching sculpture and art history at, during the same semester, the art history students come in to observe the process. This room is our sort of all-purpose studio room. Uh, a lot of what goes on here is the 2D design, the 3D design, and the intro to art. Our intro to art is not just theory, criticism, and art history. It is also hands-on practice. So you do drawing, you do painting, you do ceramics, sometimes you do printmaking. We do a lot of different processes. Just to give you a sort of well-rounded idea of what it's like to be an artist. Mm -hmm.